I think it's about time we take a deeper dive into the backrooms, and what better way to do that than with Kane Pixel's Backroom series. These are going to be a lot shorter than the other one. The first one that I found is called Backrooms The Third Test, and I'm going to be going in chronological order here based on the dates written in the description. They're three different videos, so I'm excited to dive right in. Let's get into it. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN Research Facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. <laughs> That's very unsettling. Hold on, are there captions to this? Regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1988, I... This dude about to cry? I am Ben Price, director of the ASIN Foundation, described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential... This is really bothering me right now. I don't know what it is, but that voice is incredibly disturbing and it's getting even more disturbing. This is cool already. I like this. And save billions of dollars on property construction and management. Okay. What am I seeing? Ooh. What is that? The hell am I seeing? Oh, that's sick. What? Nothing happened. That was it. It looked like they were creating the back rooms there. That's pretty nuts. I find what it says towards the halfway point of the video really interesting that this was done as a way to kind of solve storage and housing problems. It really makes me wonder what happened that made the place so anomalous and scary to be in. Because I'm assuming the back rooms are kind of just like the trial run of something like that, like some kind of giant storage space. That's nearly infinite. But to think it just went south like that, it's disturbing. Anyway, let's go to the next video. This next one is called Backroom's First Contact, and you can see here in the description that this took place a little over a year after the events of the first video we just saw. There's also a link to another YouTube video right here. I'm wondering if that takes us to the next one or if this is something else entirely. But let's see what this one's all about. I'm excited. Okay. About to say, ow. Async. Test number six. Do I have captions on? I don't think they're necessary. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta pause this so I can read. Modifications, triple support beam on internal chamber 23A. This is all a bunch of technical stuff. High precision beam now monitors. I don't know what any of this means. Or I should say how it fits in the context of this, but let's keep going. See where this goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you can't throw one of those on me. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, gotta bring it back. What is that? Failure, failure, failure. I don't know what this string of text could mean up above, but doesn't seem like anything good is about to happen. And there was something else. I'm sorry to pause it so much, dude. I gotta analyze. Solenoid magnet tracking chamber moon filter? Trigger chambers. I don't know what any of this means. I'm trying to make out what this is right here. Looks like I can get a clearer image here, but I still can't really figure out what it is. Is that one of the things that was in the other one? Doors? Yeah. It spoke at the wrong time. Hmm. Oh, 
wonder what's going to happen this time. Okay, it's happening again. Uh-oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Yep. Big problem. Jesus Christ. there it is. It destroyed everything in the area, but there it is. Whoa. That was, that was it for that one. Now for the previous video, I said that they were creating the back rooms, but I don't know now. It's hard for me to tell. I don't know if this is something that they're actively making or if it's something that they're trying to get to based on what it was saying in the first video it feels like they're trying to make it i don't know correct me in the comments if i'm wrong i'm definitely wrong but whatever they're doing here dude it is not okay it is definitely messing with the fabric of reality here so i'm curious to see what this one is all about this link looks collateral i'm ted Koppel. there has been a rather strong earthquake in northern california so strong in fact that it has among other things knocked out all the power uh, or much of the power at candlestick park where the hmm. third game of the world series was being played but in the overall scheme of things that may be the very least of things that has happened today you can see some video there. I gather that's live video of Candlestick Park. And we, we are feeling a shock right now. And that okay. shaking in your picture is being amplified by the uh, tremor that has just gone through the top of the stadium. And we are live. They're taking the bases off. Uh, 8.41 Eastern, 5.41. And we just felt it out here. We're at ground level. This is a live shot oh from our affiliate, our owned and operated station in San Francisco. KTO. Earthquakes are terrifying, and you can dude. see that there are at least two major fires that seem to be in progress there. What Let me just explain to, to you with... that uh, what we're doing here is we are listening in on the broadcast of our affiliate in San Francisco, KGO, because a great deal of the information that is coming is more readily accessible to them than it is to us. Buildings have collapsed. This is okay, so I'm skipping through this and it seems to be just about earthquakes. Oh, wait, this absolutely connects because, oh, look at this. To recap, a lab group named Async conducts, conducts a sixth test on the magnetic thing. It works, creating or opening a portal to level zero. But what if they actually created it? Back on the first contact video, there's a screen where they are telling each other to shut it down. This screen displays a map of what looks like a labyrinth or maze with long hallways and small cracks, just like level zero. Yeah, I noticed that. That's that's the thing that I had the pog face on for because to me, it looked like the back rooms were being created there. So I think that solidifies it. But for now, we're just going to watch the final video in this series so far. I don't know how deep this is going to go. But this is the last available one to watch. This one is called Backrooms Missing Persons and it takes place on February 3rd, 1990. Nicholas Bolton. Missing. Margaret Watson. Somebody without a name. Reward is his name. Oh God. Two years old? Okay, something about this one is cursed. Uh-oh. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, there are hefty spikes here. Whoa. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Dude.
This is nuts, okay? I caught a lot of shit on my last video and I posted it on TikTok because I had a very hard time distinguishing whether or not this took place at a real location or was some other thing. And it's mainly because when I was reacting to that, I did a very poor job of kind of relaying my thoughts properly. What I thought was going on was that this was created using a bunch of sets that were kind of stitched together and cleverly edited together. Turns out based on what I gather that this is made in Blender and then has like After Effects overlays and probably some other edits that are done through After Effects. But this, my dude, is wild. The movement is so accurate to that of a human beings. It blows my mind, dude. It blows my mind. Mm. It looks like he's tethered. So maybe they have they have a safe way out. Go. Hold it. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I've never seen this thing down. I may just be part of the environment. Oh, shit. What is that? This makes no sense. This wasn't in the last report. Oh, my God. No, this is, this is definitely in there. That was the dude from the beginning. It's organic. It's some kind of fungus. Fungus. Give me a second there. We gotta analyze every frame, guys. Okay. I assume this is what that matter is that's on the wall and all over that dude. Maybe a microscopic what? If anybody blame him. Blame. Okay, this one doesn't allow captions either. So I may try to do it myself to see what they're saying in here. Some of it was a little garbled, so I wasn't able to really pick it out. But dude, this is adding so much depth to the back rooms right now. What the actual fuck happened here? At first I thought he was burned alive, but it looks like he's just been coated with something. But his face looks very weird. It looks like he might have had the shit beaten out of him by something. Because it looks like there's also blood all over him. But if that's not a haunting image right there, dude. Especially when they're back here. With the three holes up above, dude, that is... This is insanely cool, man. This is insanely cool. I really like the direction this is going. I think there's a lot of room to expand on this idea. And I know there is specific lore that goes into the back rooms and this may not be at all canon or follow that lore whatsoever. But from a creative standpoint and artistic standpoint and just an overall entertainment standpoint, it's amazing. This entire series is amazing. It kind of skirts the line of analog horror, especially these. These are a lot more in the realm of analog horror than the previous or the backrooms found footage was. This goes quite a bit deeper into kind of what happened and why this is all happening and the actual effects that it has on the outside world. I think that's a very interesting move because it shows kind of how easy it is to get lost in such a place. The fact that all those missing persons cases were skyrocketing over that period of time means that a lot of people made their way in there, but the back rooms are empty as hell. So there are little things like that that are just sitting in the back of my mind and it just kind of bolsters the whole experience. This is amazing. And it's been brought to my attention that Kane Pixels is 16 years old. Unbelievable talent for real. If this is what Kane is making at that age, I can only imagine where this talent is headed. And it's only headed up, especially doing stuff like this, going deeper into something and really kind of carving out your own, I guess, realm or world that revolves around something like this. But I'm gonna stop talking here. If you guys wanna watch these for yourselves, I'm gonna be leaving the links to all three of the videos down below in the description, as well as a link to Kane's channel. Be sure to show your support, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what he's doing. It's absolutely amazing. And I think Kane deserves all the support in the world for 
making such great stuff here. But yeah, that does it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I know not a gameplay video, but I had to dive into this because I saw more and more of these popping up by Kane Pixels. I had to react to this. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my daily uploads to this channel. A big massive thank you to everyone for all the support you've been showing me lately. It means so much to me to see all the wonderful comments you leave. And just know that I'm not gonna stop with this channel. I'm going every single day as much as I can until I can't anymore. And that's not anytime soon. So I thank you for being here. I thank you for watching the video. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.